Hi, I wanted to show you guys how to deploy an app to the App Store in order for providing it for testing. So I just went to developer.apple.com and then I logged in and I come to this page and now you need to go generate your certificates first of all. So <clears throat> click on certificates. And it pops up to this page, add a new certificate. First for development. This is so that you can um, you can emulate the app onto an iPhone that you connect to your computer. So I selected that, continue. It asked me to perform this function, so I do that. I search for keychain access. Comes up with this, then it says, Okay, do that. So I go there, request a certificate. This is my iCloud account. I have a name. Um, since I'm going to be saving it to disk as per the request, click there and continue. And now I will save this. I'll create a new folder. Um, projects here and I'm just going to keep it in this main folder so what did I, what did I do again so went to documents projects and I'm going to create a new folder call it certs and click on that save okay so now that it's done, go continue. And you find that document. Projects here. Search and bam. Choose. Continue. And you download this in order to be able to do this on your computer. So in case you have Oh, once you download it, you go to the downloads folder and double click on it and it'll add that certificate here so that you're able to build it on your Mac. For example, if you don't do this work, like if you uh, want multiple people to be able to upload the same app, like, you know, different versions, you'll download it from here onto your computer and then just install it by double clicking on it and it should populate over here in this list so done here I, that was for iOS development now I'm going to do it for iOS production continue basically asks you to do the same thing but for production so I'm going to do the same thing um, certificate system. Bam. Same thing. Same thing. Change add prod. So go to the same folder. Let's say prod. And save. Done. Go continue. Oh, actually upload double click on it continue download downloads on into your computer and then you just double click on it I think yeah okay cool so that's done now that we have distribution and development <clears throat> you go to identifiers and you basically uh, register your app over here so we'll call it for now sales assistant 
and for um, TA sales assistant. Um, so bundle ID is com dot test America Inc dot com dot um, TA sales assistant. And this bundle ID has to match the bundle ID in the properties of your Visual Studio. So you go to your app info and you set to make sure that these do match. So I'm going to change this to this, and I'm going to change this to this. There we go. And yep. That's about it. And I don't need push notifications or any of these for now. So I'm just going to skip all of this. So continue. Register. Um, give me a few seconds. Okay, perfect. I was just making sure that the app runs even with the changes that I made. So I emulated it and it worked. Okay, cool. So identifiers are done. Um, now, here's where you add test devices. <clears throat> In order to add your device as a test device, basically attach your phone to your computer. And it should ask for iTunes to pop up. Oh, iTunes is being updated. All right, we'll get back there later. Let's do provisioning profiles on Dylan. So create new provisioning profiles. Um, basically create one for iOS app development, and then you know for development, and then for distribution to the App Store. Continue the new app that we created that we um, helped them identify. So continue. Samir. Um, like if Ed wanted to make the app also, you know, just select Ed. And just choose all devices. Profile name. So we basically call it sales assistant dev, TA sales assistant dev. The app name space dev. Download it and install. Oh, no. OK, basically, just double click it and it'll install on your Mac. So say done. Do the same thing for App Store distribution. Select T sales assistant. What is he asking for? Oh, um, basically the certificate that we created. Use that. And so this is the latest one. This is the one that we created. Continue. Same thing. Broad. Then you download this and then you double click to install it. 
Xcode is not being updated. I don't know why it's telling me that it's being updated. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, but you just click that, and once you're done with that, you're done with all the steps here. Um, I would just wasn't able to show you how to add a new, like you just put your UD ID, and this is something that you get from iTunes. But yeah, that is all for the first part of publishing an app. Thank you.